guys, my name is Victoria Pavlov. I'm the Photoshop artist. Welcome to my studio. Today we will create a very beautiful art for St. Patrick's Day. So guys, let's start. As you can see, I have opened Adobe Photoshop CC and also I have created my simple document. You can create your document in any size you like. Now I have only one layer. So I will click on add a new empty layer and I will switch to the curvature pen tool. In the options bar, I will specify shape, not path, guys, shape, and I will specify the color. I will use uh, this very beautiful green uh, color. And I will click anywhere in my canvas to create the first uh, curvature um, point, just like that. Two and three. Now I have created three curvature um, points, and I would like to make the last curvature point um, straight so I don't like to I don't want to create a, um, a curve line I will click and hold option key and I will click on the last curvature point just like that same here I will click and hold option key and I will click on the last curvature point and voila how beautiful is it very easy and very beautiful. So I would like to apply same method to the to the last curvature point. I will click and hold Option key, and I will click on this curvature point just like that. And voila! Now I will adjust my shape using same curvature pen tool. I'm not switching to any other tool. I'm using same curvature pen tool. I will adjust my shape just like that. And here and slightly here. Perfect. Now, guys, I would like to apply different feel to my um, uh, form. I still have highlighted my curvature pen tool. I will click on fill icon and I will click on gradient just like that. I will change the color. I will use a black. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, dark green color just like that and for the second color I will use same green uh, color but with a lighter shade just like that perfect and I will change type of my gradient tool I will switch to reflected just like that and now I will change ang angle to um, minus one and I will change a effect just like that how beautiful is it? Perfect. Now, guys, I will highlight my uh, background layer. I will create a new empty layer and I will create the second part of uh, my hat. I will be using the same as a curvature of pen tool with same um, green color for fill. Just like that, guys. Nothing is too complicated. Just relax. Relax. It cre creates something very unique and very beautiful. Just like that. And I will close my shape just like that. Now I will adjust my shape using same curvature of pen tool. I'm not switching to any other tool. Perfect. And yes, guys, I would like to um, let me just both sides. Yes, now I like it a lot. Maybe something here. Perfect. Now I would like to apply same gradient feel to this part of my hat. So I will switch to back to gradient tool and um, I will change the color to same color we previously used. And second color. just like that and I will switch to reflect it and also I will change the angle. Perfect. Mm. Let, let's, I made mistakes so I will switch back to gradient just like that and the second color this beautiful color and just like that 
and reflected gradient tool, reflected gradient, and I will switch our angle to minus four probably. Let's see. yes, just like that, and I love it a lot. So this is our head. Now, guys, what I will do? I will highlight the top layer, just like that. I will create a new empty layer. I still have highlighted my curvature pen tool. I will change the color to the black and voila. We will continue working on our project, just like that, guys. Again, nothing is too complicated. Be creative, guys. Don't be scared. I can guarantee you can create anything you like. And voila. Perfect. I would like to apply a gradient fill as well. Just like that. I will change to a reflected. I will change the angle. And just slide adjustment. Just like that, guys. Look at this. <laughs> How beautiful is it? Now, what we will do. I will create a new empty layer, just like that. I will switch to Restangle tool and I will change the color. I will change to gold color. Let's see. Maybe, yes, gold color. And I will create simple uh, Restangle, just like that in the middle. Perfect. Now, guys, right click on um, Restangle uh, a layer, Rasterize layer, and I will switch to Selection tool. I will use Restangle or uh, Margue tool. You can use any selection tool you are more comfortable with. I will select the middle of this uh, shape, just like that, and I will click Delete key, just like that. Beautiful. And deselect. I will switch to Move tool and I will resize it. Perfect. Now I'm very, very happy. What I will do now, guys, I will select the layer under um, uh, this um, black stripe layer. I will create a new empty layer, just like that. Using same rectangle tool with same color, I will create simple line, just like that. Perfect. And I will reposition it. Perfect, guys. I love it a lot. So, now I will create, um, I will uh, highlight my top layer. I will open my Pixel Squid um, library. And here we have, um, I have 3D object I downloaded from pixelsquid.com. I will click on this object just like that. I will rotate it. I will reposition it. I will specify that I would like to have shadows differently and I would like to have um, my 3D object in high resolution. So I will switch from low to high resolution. How beautiful is it? Now guys, I will highlight my um, a bottom layer, my background layer. I will click on eyedropper tool and I will click on um, uh, my hat to pick color out of my hat using um, a paint basket tool I will change as a color but I would like to create some contrast so I will use a darker shade of same green color and voila how beautiful is it now we have one problem we have um, a shadow from our 3D object layer, but we don't have shadow under our head. What I will do? I ha I still have highlighted my background layer. I will create a new empty layer using eyedropper eyedropper I <laughs> eyedropper tool. I will click on uh, this shadow and using um simple brush tool with smaller side for sure smaller size I will create the shadow directory directly under my head just like that 
Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. It's too harsh shadow for my taste. So what I will do, I will bring down opacity of this layer. And also I will go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur. You can use any blur you're more comfortable with. Just like that. And I will click OK. Perfect. Um, I will highlight my background layer. I will create new empty layer. I will switch to my a simple brush tool. And from my brushes panel, I will click on watercolor uh, brush. Guys, all those brushes I downloaded from uh, for free from Adobe website. All brushes um, are created by Kyle uh, Webster. If you are a um, Creative Cloud subscriber, all those amazing brushes are free for you. So here I have my favorite um, background watercolor brush. And using a lighter color, green color, I will paint just outside. You can um, increase size of your brush just like that and voila create something very beautiful just like that definitely you can bring down opacity of uh, this layer and voila guys we are done you can add any text you like you can add as many details as you like everything is up to you so guys this is what i wanted to share with you so go and create something very beautiful and very unique for saint patrick's day in the adobe photoshop cc thank you guys for your time super appreciated it and i will see you next time bye